It's the grandson of Right Thought. Welcome back to the School of Marvelous Life. Hey, you Americans. I'm going to tell y'all something. A nation is only prosperous, is only thriving, is only safe and protected as long as Abiyah's hand of protection is on that nation. And if any nation claims to be a nation of Abiyah, then they will only stand if Abiyah is indeed with them. Since Abiyah got a holy people for himself called Israel, it would be wise for you to learn about this people and learn about why they fell into captivity so many times. If the nation of Almighty God fell into captivity, Then what about your nation, America? Is it possible that you could fall into captivity? Is that even possible for you, America? What do you say? Israel, for thou art a holy people, unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee because he has loved thee. Do you think Abiyah y'all love America? Do you think so? Because Abiyah said his word that he loved Israel. And where is Israel? Are they not scattered to the four corners of the earth? Did they not lose their heritage? Did they, they, did they not lose their names? Were they not kicked out of their homeland? Well, if these things be indeed true for a nation that disobeys their God, have you Americans obeyed your God? Have you? As a nation, what do you say, Americans? Are you guilty before your God today or are your hands clean? What about you Americans? Let's see. The Lord thy God. You shall love the Lord thy God. And him shall thou serve. Him alone shall thou serve. Y'all got some money right now that say in God we trust on it. So do you serve Abiyah alone Americans? Or do you serve your paper? Which one do you serve today American? Are you guilty or are your hands clean? Thou shall honor thy father and thy mother. Are your hands clean, Americans? Or are you guilty today? Thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. Are you Americans guilty? 
Are your hands clean? Is Philadelphia right there in the state of Pennsylvania? Is it indeed true? Is it indeed the city of brotherly love? Or can I go to Kensington right now and will I see a whole new world of truth? City of brotherly love. Are your hands clean today, Americans, or are you guilty? Honor my Sabbath and keep it holy. Are you guilty today? Are your hands clean? Touch not the unclean thing. And eat not the unclean thing. Are your hands guilty, Americans? Baconator eating ass niggas? Are your hands dirty or are they clean, Americans? You claim to be a nation of God. You claim to be so. Well, why are you so guilty today? Why can't I name a commandment you have not broken? Thou shalt not murder. Are your hands dirty, Americans, or what? Thou shalt not steal. Are your hands dirty, Americans? Or are they clean today? Are they white as snow? How is your stars and stripes looking today? Is it clean? Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. Are your hands clean, Americans, or are they dirty? You shall judge righteous judgment in the case of the widow and the fatherless. Are your hands dirty, Americans, or are they clean? You cannot serve two gods, for you will love one and hate the other. You cannot serve the God and mammon. Are your hands clean, Americans, or are you still guilty? Guilty, 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 and you're still having Christmas? You're still having Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving for what? You're guilty. What are you thankful for? Being guilty? Why are you prideful? Why are you arrogant? For Abiyah hateth a proud look. Are your hands clean or are they dirty? Americans? I thought you were a brave people. I thought you were home of the brave. Then why won't you answer my questions today? I thought you were brave. That's the rumor I heard. Then why when I ask you these questions do you cower in fear? Why do you tuck tail and run when I open my mouth then? I thought you were brave. I thought you were free. Why do you have so many prisons? Why do you have so many inmates? If you're the land of the free. Tell me that. Riddle me that. Why do you have so many children locked in cages right now then under the ground? If you're a land of the free, you hypocrites. You take my father's name in vain and you're going to pay dearly for that. You're going to pay so dearly because my father is not mocked. You thought because Israel didn't go under the wing, you could hide under his wing, huh? You thought because he said, okay, Israel. You don't want to be under my wing, then go. You thought you could run under his wing, you Gentiles. And you thought he would accept you the same as he would accept Israel. He said, no, I just used them to provoke you to jealousy so that you come back to my wing. And now we are under his wing again. And he has closed the door to you. He's closed the door to you, Americans. Why do you pray? 
Who do you pray to? What is his name? You don't even know the father, and yet you say you pray to him, you hypocrites, you are liars. You are murderers. You are the most murderous people on the face of this earth. You are all living under a lie. Each state you live in is a lie. There are no states. This land was not to be parceled up and divided like this. For it was not your land to do so with it. It was Abiyah's land to divide how he wanted it to be. He said, Every hill would have cattle upon it. And what did you do? You saw that wealth and that riches. Instead of honoring Abiyah's code, you defiled it. Can you pay for his buffalo skulls? Can you pay for their calves? Can you pay for the dolphins that you slay with, uh, with impunity? Can you pay for that blood in that water? Can you play? Can you pay for the blood in that cove, you Nippon? Yes, we know who you are, you Nippon, you Amon. Call yourselves by misnomers. It don't matter. We watch you in your cove, slaying those dolphins with impunity, when they seek to communicate with you. And instead of letting Abiyah show you his glory and his creation, you slay it, so that you can make dollar and serve Mammon. And you say you serve God, and you thank Him when you get your Mammon in your hand, and you say, "Thank you, God, you bless me, you liars." You don't understand the blessings of Abiyah. They are not seen. They are spiritual. So you cannot partake of this tree. You love the fruit of evil. And you love the wages of it. Just like Balaam did. When even his dumb ass spoke to him and corrected him. And you will not be corrected. Not even by the mouth of a dumb ass. If, ass, if it spoke to you. You wouldn't even hearken. You, are, you have waxed so gross in your understanding. You cannot understand. You have no hope. There are no prayers for you. Abba Yah is not hearing your prayers. You have lied. You're proving that you're liars. I have told you. Why can you not confound what I'm telling you? Why can you not say, no, 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 no. We are innocent. I need one American to put in the comment section that the American nation is innocent of breaking Abba's commandments. Now, the penalty for breaking his commandments is death. So if you admit that you are not innocent, then what is your reward, Americans? What is the fruits of your labor? Vanity. For he who labors, labors in vain. Seeing that all of this is, will be burnt up with fervent heat. All of the elements being burnt up. And y'all are looking to build houses today. Construction crew right behind me. Building a structure. As if it will stand and last. It will not stand and last. It will be flipped over in an hour. The doom is heavy upon you. Your prayers are not heard. They're not heard. Only the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Are you a righteous nation? Then your prayers will not avail much. So you call unto him and you seek it with tears. You, you sought to hide Esau. You sought to hide under the name of Israel. Under the lifestyle of Israel. But you did not keep the lifestyle. You did not keep Torah. Which is not a religion, it is a lifestyle, it is a way of life, it is a way of living. How can religion be quantified by loving someone? How can that be religious? How can it not be natural to love one another? And yet it is natural for you Americans to kill, to murder and justify it because my building fell. So we need to kill a bunch of people, a whole nation. This man over in Africa, he just wants to lead his people and wants to use gold. We want him to use our fucking paper. So fuck that. Go kill him in front of his people to make an example of what happens when you don't listen to us. 
murderous devils fly a fucking drone. I thought you were brave. Shoot a missile out of a drone and destroy a child and you think you're brave. You're a coward. I dust my feet off from this wicked nation that I was born into. What a disgusting thing. What a disgusting thing to be born into America. You all are so proud of what? Bloodshed? You're proud of kicking people off of their land? That's what you're proud of doing? You're proud of murdering people with disease? You're proud of filling your belly bellies with detestable things? You're proud of making merchandise of innocent children? You're proud of eating human flesh? You're proud. 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 Proud, proud Abba says. They are proud people, he says. They are proud. Open your mouth, son of man, and tell them, Americans, they are proud people. And there is nothing that comes after pride but a great fall. A great fall. The vibrations are under your feet right now, shaking. It has begun. The quaking has begun. And our mother is going to birth a brand new land for us. And there is nothing you can do to change it. She is going to kick that wicked Esau out of her womb. And then Jacob is going to be birthed in like fashion to Abba's liking. There's nothing y'all can do to stop that, you liars. You tried to take our name on. You tried to take our name on, but you found out the yoke was too heavy to bear. You found out it was too hard to love God and love your neighbor as yourself. That's what you found out. You can't do it. There's only one people that Abba has ordained to do it. And that is this portion of Jacob that is unlike any other people on the face of this earth. They follow him. Wherever he goes, even if it be 144,000. Even if that be, they follow him wherever he goes. They are virgins for him. So all your little false ass gods you got has to have made up here in this land. Egypt. False Jerusalem. Wicked Babylon. Daughter of Babylon, which we found out in Psalms, is Edom. Edom is the daughter of Babylon, according to Psalms, for all y'all that didn't know that. So if for all y'all are saying, oh, 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 America is Babylon, America is Babylon, America is Babylon. Well, it says the daughter of Babylon is Edom. So if you're saying America is Babylon, then you're saying Babylon is Edom. We got the man of sin. We got him by his balls and we squishing them bitches till they break off and fall. We don't give a damn that he got tears out his eyes because long as he's around we will always despise. We hate that fucking devil cause all he do is lie. We don't care how much he cry. We don't care if he try. He's doomed. You're doomed. Your disguises have been ripped off of you, Esau. Yeah, we'll just say we're God's people. And we'll put up face, fake Jesus Christ up there on the cross. Caesar is his name. Caesar. Put Caesar up there on the cross. And then we'll kill anybody who says otherwise. Because that's what the Jews would do. Yeah, the true Jews, they go forth in the earth, slaying the wicked with the truth. But you're too stupid to understand that, you Roman. Aren't you the one? The Inquisition? Roman? Edom? The same guy? Esau? Oh my goodness, here. E-E-Uh-Uh, man. Quest for fire, man, that didn't know how to make fire. 
The red nigga, hairy nigga. Damn! Watch Quest for Fire. You'll see some red hairy niggas fighting over fire. Going, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the niggas who's calling themselves Israel right now. Calling themselves Christians right now. Oh yeah, I know it's gonna ruffle your feathers. I know it is. It's supposed to. It's supposed to make y'all feel like, wait, 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 what? what are you talking about, man? Christians? Why are you saying that, man? Yahusha never told you to be called that. And if he did, show me the scripture where he did. I'll be waiting for all eternity because it ain't in there because it's written in my heart and I know he said do anything in my name and that's all he said I don't know why y'all want to take shit further I don't know why y'all trying to be trying to be slick Israel failed we'll do better than them I told y'all, if y'all want to know y'all demise, look at Israel. Because you claiming to be Israel right now. So you're going to get the same damn demise they got. But not being true Israel. <laughs> but y'all don't understand none of this shit I'm saying. Like I told you. I thought y'all was home of the brave. Show me your bravery today. Show it to me. Show it to me. Am I telling you the truth? Now, do Americans... If they're brave, then that means they accept truth, right? Well then, give me a million subscribers there. I'm going to be like you niggas. Give me a million subscribers. Give me some likes now. I'm not making another video until I get a thousand likes on this video, damn it. I'm telling you the truth. So what's wrong with you bastards? Are you too stupid to hit the like button? What's going on? I'm going to start playing music. I'm not going to talk anymore until you guys hit that button. Since that's what the fuck y'all like hearing, you dumbasses. That's what cavemen like. They like something that gets shiny. That's all it is. It's dull at first, and then it gets shiny. And he runs towards other cavemen. A diamond. Oh my god, look at this. The Israelite grabbed the diamond with his hand. They cut the nigga hand off. Slice. No, 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 no. That's my diamond. It's mine. It's shiny, isn't it? It's mine then. They saw some gold. Oh, it's shiny! It's mine! Shiny! 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 My own! Shiny! 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 My own! I, 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 I. He's the same fucking caveman he's always been. He sees something shiny, he kills. He said the shiny kill. Was the temple sitting in Jerusalem on a hill real shiny? Okay, did he kill the Jerusalem people? Y'all say, the Jerusalem people. Oh, he, 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 he. Shut the fuck up. It's not a fucking game, nigga. Shut your stupid clown ass court jester ass up, bitch. You niggas is stupid to sit up here and laugh about your demise, you dumb niggas. Going to work instead of going to work in the kingdom's sake. Going to work and laboring in the vineyard for Abba Yah who you say you serve. You don't serve Abba Yah, nigga. You slave for yourself every day to pay your bills, bitch. You a slave, ho. All you niggas claiming to be Israel. Nigga, y'all niggas are slaves, nigga. You slave every day, nigga. You ain't no damn real Israel that's slave for the kingdom. That do the works that Abiyah has set forth for us to do. He says there ain't no laborers. Pray for them. But instead, what do y'all pray for? Pray that God remove his judgment. Well, y'all don't know how the Israelite household went. So I'll tell you how it went. When I was a kid, my father would say, son, don't do that. He would give me a commandment. And I would break this commandment sometimes. And then sometimes he would give me grace. He would say, son, now look. I told you don't do this shit. Now, next time you do the shit, I'm going to come down on you with some shit now. I'm restraining myself from doing it now because I'm disappointed. Don't do it again. Okay, I won't. And then I might have did it again. And then he came down on me with the shit. Now, when he came down on me with the shit, which was a belt usually, came down on me with that belt, and he's going to give me a whooping, I might petition him and say, Father, change the judgment. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let your judgment pass. And then he's going to say, well, clean up your doing. Then clean up your doing and amend and repent and sin no more. Because if I catch you sinning again, I'm whooping your ass down. Okay. I don't amend a damn thing. I go off in my pride doing the same shit. Well, 
I can holler again, can I? I can say, let your judgment pass over me. He's whooping my ass this time. He's whooping my ass. That's what happened. And I'm going to be real with y'all. And, and With my dad, tell you about the Israelite house, I said I would. That, that second time of grace didn't happen. When he took his belt off, I got whooped. I'm just keeping it real with you. When he caught me that second time, I got whooped. And I would say, oh, no, let your judgment pass. In other words, don't whoop me, no, please, please, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Smackety, 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 smack. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, welcome to my world. You want to be in it so fucking bad. You wanted to be in it so bad you kicked me out and took my place. Well, welcome to my world then, Americans. Welcome to my world. 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 How you like it? How you like the whooping? How you like the whooping? You say, what's the whooping, grandson? Famine. Severe famine. That's an exclamation point. That's why I said severe like that. Because when I say famine, I mean you eat your children. You boil your children in a pot and you eat their flesh so you can survive, you narcissistic devil. You prove your narcissism to Abba to his face by eating your children. Who would do such a thing? Well, the Israelites did it. So you wanted to be Israelites so bad? Welcome to my world. 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 You want to be Israelites so bad? You shall eat your children in the strait wherewith you shall be tested. Can you stand the test of Baba Yah's judgment? Oh no, you can't. He's gonna break your fucking back down. He's gonna break your ass down to dust. He said the rock when it land, it's gonna grind who it land on to powder. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. You hear that shit? Do it. That's all you're gonna hear, nigga. When that rock hit. Oof. Dust. Damn! I you was just like gonna do him like that. You gonna do him like that? He like, don't you feel the relief? Oh yes, I do. Thank you for not making it have to take a long time. Thank you. He's gonna speed the time up on these hoes because they ain't getting it. He purging you dumbasses off the land right now. Tell me he ain't. Americans are dying left and right, and you guys aren't asking why or why, and so you just keep going on with your life. Thinking that it won't come to an end, but it surely will, and you will not heal. I'm just keeping it real. A continual stroke that you can't heal from. So what do you want to do? Y'all got DEAD, Americans. That's the disease. You ain't got no patience, so you diagnose your kids with ADHD and you give them Adderall. Because you lazy as fuck and ain't got no kindness in your fucking heart. So Abiyah then diagnosed your ass with DEAD and he's prescribed you with some shit called not at all. Here it is. It's in liquid form. Drink it to the full. It's only one little gram. Just a sip. Go ahead and drink it. You say you're Israelites, then drink it up. You get mad when the true Israelites stand up and say, hold on, hold on, hold on, man, don't boast up against me. Y'all be like, hold on, man, spiritual Israel. You did all that fighting, and I'm still standing here looking at your stupid dumbass, unfazed, with my neo shades still on my eyes, looking at you going, all right then, kapow! Explode him, because this nigga's stupid. He said he's an Israelite, and he don't keep no commandments, so then he must die. Boom! Now, who are you? Are you Israelite? Uh-oh, the nigga started getting nervous. No, 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 I ain't. Okay, well, then you gotta die. Pow, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh yeah, yeah, this gun is dangerous to fuck with. Caught the rock, Godesh. Who do it go to? Who do it go to? Oh, I told you what it's gonna say when it get to you. Are you Israelite? Uh, 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 yes, I am. Well, why you haven't kept the commandments? Uh oh, kapow, dead. Next guy. Are you Israelite? No, no. He saw the guy get blasted for saying he was. He said, No, 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 I'm not. Kapow. What? Yeah, man. The kingdom gates are only have the names of the children of Israel on the gates. Y'all didn't read that in there. You got to be a child of Israel, and you said you were spiritually Israel. So what tribe you from? Anybody today that says they're from a spiritual Israel, what tribe are you from? Put it in the comment section since y'all are brave. Skeeting i I'll wait and I'll see if you will. But I doubt you will because you niggas is cowards. You got your tail tucked between your legs. You're looking like a dog. You're looking like a dog. You're looking, looking, looking like a little bitch ass dog powers anyway my memory about to run i mean my memory <laughs> my storage on my phone about to run out this video getting too long so y'all got lucky on this one i could have did this all day y'all that's y'all judgment it ain't nothing good to say to you but die i told you that because you didn't keep no commandments while claiming that you did they who say they are jews shall come crouching why y'all niggas coming crouching if y'all was doing the right thing Oh, spaghetti on woofy. Uppercut at that nigga. He landed in the lava and then he went bloop, bloop. And when he came back up, it was just a skeleton. It wasn't nothing left but a skeleton. Damn! That nigga landed in the lava and when he went whoop -dee. And when he came up, it was like bloop, bloop. And it wasn't nothing but a skeleton. <laughs> so, um, Israel.